Welcome to Robotics at BVM. Hello, my son Tatin and my friend Minikit and three of them from grade 4. We'll, we'll be sharing a piece of robotics work on the topic Watchmen of the World War. We sincerely thank our school, BVM, Google, and my teachers for guiding us throughout this project. World War is such a many countries to life and in school, we feel for, sorry for people who lost their life and got injured. We feel proud and respect for the people who made us our life to be the safest place to live in. What is warfare? Warfare is engagement in violent conflict or the activities involved with violent conflict, the waging of war against an enemy, armed conflict, military operation made by a specific characteristic types of warfare, trench warfare, artillery, voice and gas, command and control, railways, war of attrition, air warfare, mobility, submarines. Trench warfare is a type of land warfare using occupied fighting lines largely comprising military trenches in the troops are very protected from the enemy's small arms, fire and are substantially sheltered from artillery. Trench warfare. Trench warfare became archetypically associated with World War I, 1914 to 1918, when the race to the sea to the sea rapidly expanded trench use on the Western Front starting in September 1914. Artillery. Artillery large guns called artillery improved during World War I including anti-aircraft guns to shoot down enemy planes. The majority of the casualties in the war were in inflicted using artillery machine gun. The machine gun was improved during the war. It was made much lighter and easy easier to move around. Aviation in World War I started with primitive aircraft primitively used. Technological progress was swift, leading to a ground attack, tactical bombing and highly publicized. Deadly dogfights and, and aircraft equipped with forward firing, Synch synchronized machine guns from July onwards. However, these uses made a lesser impact on the war than more mundane roles in intelligence, sea patrol and especially artillery spotting. Anti-aircraft warfare also had its beginning in this war. Man observation balloons floating high above the trenches position and directly artillery fire. As with most technologies, aircraft and their use underwent many improvements during World War I. As the initial war, initial war of, of movement of the Western Front settled into trench warfare, aerial reconnaissance over the front added to the difficulty of the mounting surprise attacks against trench and concealed defenders. Submerged 
was included. The amendment had similarly improved, but few were in favor. Germany had already increased production and quickly built up its U boat fleet, both for action against British warships and for the counter blockade of the British Isles. 360 will eventually win. It re resulting U boat campaign deployed more enemy warships. In conclusion, the arms of the uh, of others either fall from your back or they weigh down you or they bind you fast. Thank you. Class 5 of BM Global at Perungudi. My project is about the medics of war. For my project, I have developed a short fiction story about a medic from the World War. The story begins with a cunning captain and its troop attacking their opponents. Then arrives the medic to help the wounded soldiers. From the story, you can know more on what happened that day. Role of medic is nothing less than a life savior who saved the life of those wounded soldiers. Let me explain you more about a medic skin shown in my story. Usually, a platoon consists of three sections. First is ambulance or evacuation medic. Second is battalion aid station medic. And third is combat medic. Ambulance or evacuation medic function just like a civilian ambulance would. The battalion aid station medic functions similar to an urgent care or a small emergency department. A combat medic or support hospital would have a long term fixed position. Thank you. of class 5C. Let me in explain about the project. Indian Medical Service with both Indian and British doctors served World War 1 and 2. These doctors were equipped with many medical equipments like field ambulance, stethoscope, surgical scissors, bone saw, etc. Ambulance for 1960, 1916 Model T field ambulance with 45 km per hour was used by British Indian Army during the World Wars. Stethoscope 1851 model of binual stethoscope was used in World Wars to determine heart rate and blood pressure. Scissors These types of scissors were used in World War by Indian Army Navy RAF. It's a steel iron scissors. Bone saw Bone saw was used during World War to serve the bone in few strokes. Badly affected limbs were not treated, rather cut off from the body. This project was, was done in scratch using operators like controls, events, motor, variables and etc. Thank you. Good morning to one and all present here. I am Sanjana of Class 5C. Now I am going to talk about medical equipments used during World War 1 and 2. Myself and then Yashi done a project on this topic. Now let's see about the medical equipments used during World War 1 and 2. World War 1 brought many changes that led to new advanced 
in medicine and modern medical practices whether it was reformed new medicines update triage practices nurse and their medical officer did what it took to meet the needs of the soldiers now let's see about the ambulance used in world war ambulance ever medicine functions just like civil line ambulance would they were responsible for transporting patients from point of injury to as well as between medical care facilities when blood transfusion were another new resource during this time the and varieties medicine were used in the care of wounded thank you Hello everyone this is Shriram from 5A our topic for the project day is the medics of the world war 1 and 2 there are many varieties we created a scratch project on combat medics let's see the project welcome to the museum press the arrow key to move inside the museum click the panel to view the information first one anesthetic change that occurred in the nursing field was the ability of nurses to administer the anesthetic the army nurse corp association american nurses served on shock gas orthopedic and surgical special teams where they could be moved in front lines in groups of 5 or 6 these teams could help stabilize the soldiers next one triage tactics varied by country but british soldiers created a three part system to categorize soldier in two degrees number 1 wounded soldiers requiring minimal care before returning to the front lines number 2 more seriously injured soldiers in need of hospital attention and 3 soldiers expected to not live despite medical treatment let's check thomas splint the thomas splint invented in britain was a medical innovation that saved countless lives the splint required at least two ideally three people to apply it into a soldier's leg and was completed in a 12 step process according to the researcher louis bell the splint reduced mortality rate associated with fractures from 80% to 20% in 1918 next one cleanliness The importance of cleanliness in association with reduced infection was a major step before, toward uh, saving of lives. Bullet wounds, outdoor exposure, combined with the hardship of not having antibiotics, made for risky work. And to fill the wounds with salt or iodine until the soldiers were able to access more stable treatment. Next one, trench. warfare the medical staff had to adapt to trench warfare and the ailments that came with it factors like proximity with the dirt created the perse- perfect recipe for sick soldiers the final topic blood transfusion blood transfusion were another relatively new resource during this time and various medicines were used in the care of the wounded dark in solution for example was an antiseptic solution made using dilute boric acid and sodium hydrochloride it was it was used to irrigate wounds before closure
class 6b we have done a robotics project on invention and innovation during world war 2 now i am going to explain about tanks in 1914 the war of movement expected by most european generals settled down into an unexpected and seemingly unwinnable war of trenches the first tank the british mark 1 was designed in 1915 and first saw combat at some in September 1916. The French soon followed suit with the Renault FT, which established the classic tank route turret on the top. Poison gas. Poison gas was used by both sides with devastating results, well, sometimes during the Great War. The first successful use of chemical weapons occurred on April 22, 1915 near Ypres when Germans played chlorine glass from large cylinders towards trenches held by French colonial troops. Good morning all. My name is P.J. David. I am from class 6. I am going to talk about invention and innovation of World War I air traffic control. In the first day of the flight, once the plane the left the ground, the pilot was pretty much isolated from the terrestrial world, unable to receive any information aside from the obvious signals using flags or lamps. The change had thanks to the effort of the US Army which installed the first operation two-way radios in the planes during the Great War. The topic given to me is tracer bullets. While the Great War involved in a lot of futile activity, fighting at night was especially unproductive because there was no way to see where you were shooting. Night combat was made somewhat easier by the British for inventing of tracer bullets. The first attempt in 1915 wasn't actually that useful. As the trial was erratic and the limit was 100 meters. But the second tracer model developed in 1916, the 3.3 SPG Mark 7G and inhibited a regular bright green white trial and was a real hit. Thank you and have a nice day. Oh. A dino touch on a speed flashlight is a flashlight or a pocket top. It generates energy with a flywheel that uses repeatedly squeezes an handle to spin a flywheel inside a flashlight attached to a small generator supplying electric current to an incandescent light or light emitting diode. Nuclear actors are the heart of a nuclear power plant. They contain and control nuclear chain reactions that produce heat through a physical process called friction. That heat is used to make steam that spins at a ribbon to create Hello friends. Today I will tell you about some inventions and innovations made during the World War II. The 3rd Indian Motor Brigade the 3rd Indian Motor Brigade was formed in 1940 by the Indian Army during the World War II. In 1941, the brigade was surrounded at Michili by the Axis force during the operation of Sambulam and suffered many casualties, breaking out of encirclement. The next stop, the V2 rocket. Hitler's second Wigner or Wigner's weapon may have killed over 2,500 people and 20,000 more died in the process of making it. But it was the key step forward in putting a flag or on the moon as well as develop G GPS, Google Earth and satellite communications. Thank you.
आर एम एन राजेश कन्न एस लक्ष्मण मिथुन एंड प्रक्षिता नेक्स्ट आई एम गोन स्पीक अबाउट इंडियन आर्मी एंड सम रोल ऑफ एंड सैक्रिफाइस इन हिंदी वर्ल्ड वॉर वन अ टोटल ऑफ लवन विक्टोरिया प्रोसेस वर वन बाय इंडियन सोल्जर्स अदर आर मिर्दास सहमत खान लाल दरबार नेगी गबर नेगी करण बहादुर राणा बहादुर सिंह छाटा सिंह गोविंद सिंह एंड कुलप्रताबा द आर्मी प्लेड अ वर्चुअल रोल ऑफ द विक्टरी ऑफ आल एज वायर इंडिया वॉज अंडर द ब्रिटिश कॉलोनी रूल नेक्स्ट आई एम गोन रीड अबाउट खुदात खान खुदात खान बी सी वॉज दी फर्स्ट सोल्जर ऑफ ब्रिटिश इंडियन आर्मी टू बिकम दि रिसिपियंट ऑफ दि विक्टोरिया क्रॉस द हाइएस्ट मिलिट्री अवार्ड फॉर ग्यारंटेली इन दि फेस ऑफ एनिमी गिवन टू ब्रिटिश एंड कॉमन वेल्थ सोर्सेस ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट अक्टूबर नाइनटीन फोर्टीन एट ओलिबिक बेल्जियम ट्वेंटी सिक्स इयर ओल्ड कान दैन सर्विंग द ब्रिटिश इंडियन आर्मी परफॉर्म एन एक्ट ऑफ फ्रेवरी फॉर विच He was awarded the Victoria Cross during the First World War. Now Rajesh Kannan will say about Khamat Khan and Mirdas. Hello everyone. This is Rajesh. I am going to talk about Khamat Khan. Khamat Khan BC was an Indian recipient of Victorian Cross, the highest and most prestigious award for gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to British and Commonwealth forces. Shahmat Khan was in charge of the mission gun section 150 yards from the enemy's position covering a gap in the new line at Beit Aisha Mesopotamia on 12th or 13th April 1916 next see who is the next hero the next hero was Mirdas the Mirdas was from the northwest frontier provinces He was a short patan and he was among the Cook Rifles a part of Slugo division he fought the battle of Ypres with bayonet and chlorine gas the attack the german fumigating the trench by killing as much as possible now i call prakshita to tell about the rest of the soldiers thank you hi i am prakshita i am going to talk about Gabar Singh Nehi Gabar Singh Nehi was the second Indian soldier ever to receive the Victoria Cross from the hands of the Hachim the king emperor on the field of the battle and was among the earliest indian recipients of the victoria cross the highest and the most prestigious award for the gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to british and commonwealth forces now i am going to talk about karan bahadur rana Karan Bahadur Rana Magar was a Nepalese Gurkha recipient of the Victoria Cross the highest and the most prestigious award of gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to British and Commonwealth forces he kept his gun in action and showed the greatest coolness in removing defects which on two occasions prevented the gun from firing he displayed throughout a very high standard of valor and devotion to duty Now Lakshman is going to talk about Britain's victory over Germany. Lakshman you can continue. Part 1 Role of Indian Army in Britain's victory over Germany. India contributed a large number of soldiers to the British and helped them in the war. British promised helpful to the India at the end of the war. They failed to keep their promises. Had they kept their pledged sacrifices of the India's force to World War Soldiers might have been seen as a contribution to the India's freedom in 1990. Hello everyone. This is Rajesh. I am going to talk about the project I did in Pocket Code. In this, I have used one actor and a background. In the actor, I have used one dog. It is teacher and a in the script i use 81 script in this you can see it in background i have used four script and two backgrounds now we will see how it will work now it asked how many victorian were won by the indian uh, it is 11 If I put the answer correct, it say correct. Uh, um, 
in and it asked when did the world war started uh, if i put the answer wrong um, it will tell wrong now you can see it thank you Subhitra Shri Sanjeev Shashwat and Kavin so the whole topic of grade 8 is major regiments and our project topic is Gurkha and Kohima regiments so we have done a project based on this so first we'll be seeing what are the Gurkha and Kohima regiments so the Gurkhas are, are a fierce tribe from the mountainous regions of Nepal they are known for their fearless nature in combat and for their good nature day to day life So the Britain's friendship with the Gurkhas was born in battle, the 1814 Anglo-Nepalese war. The British admire the tactics and the skills of the Gurkhas and hence when the war ended after 2 years, um the British recruited the Gurkhas in their army. So this bond lasted over 200 years and the Gurkhas fought over 30 major conflicts for the British. um their motto was to better to die than be a coward 13 gurkhas have received the victoria cross that is the highest award for bravery in the britain and sir ralph lilly turner mc a britain official um praised the gurkha saying bravest of the brave most generous of the generous never had country more faithful friends than you so now Sanjay will be continuing with the Gurkha regiment. Hello everyone. My name is Sanjay and today I will be talking about the Gurkha's role in World War 2. The Gurkhas were deployed by the British in the Middle East territories such as Iraq and Syria and in North Africa to fight against Axis forces. When the UK declared war on Japan, the Indian army and the Gurkhas were engaged in a much higher scale to protect Malaya from the Japanese forces. They went on to fight in Italy, Greece, Singapore, India, and Burma. They wore a hat called terai, which was the trademark symbol of the Gurkhas. The Gurkhas were equi- equipped with the Lee Enfield Number no. Four rifle and the Bren light machine gun and American American weapons such as the Thompson M 1928 and the M1 A1 submachine guns. However, the Gurkhas mostly used the native weapon called kukri. Their war cry was "Ayo Gurkali." Nearly 25, 250,000 men signed up to fight in the world wars. They were recruited in wars whenever reliable manco- manpower was required. Now Shashwat will be explaining about the Kohima regiment. Hello, I am Shashwat and I am going to be explaining about the Kohima regiment. In 1944, Kohima in the Naga Hills of Assam, northeast India, was in. important hill station on the only road between the major british supply base at dimapur and imphal when the japanese launched their u go offensive in march 1944 the kohima garrison was made up from a few units of the assam rifles the first battalion assam regiment and the line of communication troops as the full strength and threat of the japanese offensive became apparent to the british reinforcements were hastily moved to the imphal dimapur area many arriving by air from the arakan of these the 161st indian infantry brigade of the 5th indian infantry division was flown to dimapur in late march 1944 The brigade advanced down the road to Kohima and began to establish defensive positions around the village. The first attack on Kohima was made after dark on April 4th but was unsuccessful. 
there was a space to deploy and only a single battalion the 4th battalion queen's own royal west kent regiment supported by the assam rifles and the assam regiment the brigade remaining the brigade's remaining infantry the 1st battalion 1st punjab regiment and the 4th battalion 7th rajput regiment was deployed 2 miles west of kohima at jodsoma with the brigade's artillery desperate japanese attacks were launched against the fsd hill on the evening of the 16th april and the positions changed hands several times before the british withdrew to garrison hill a dangerous situation for the defenders now hemmed in on three sides of the garrison hill was relieved when on april 18th troops of the second british infantry division the 161st indian infantry brigade and tanks of the 149th regiment royal armored corps rac forced the japanese away from the road and the garrison hill the siege of kohima was lifted now so these my... are the pictures attached about the kohima regiment thank you now are uh, the fourth member kavin is going to explain the game we made about the gurkha and kohima regiment we students of class 8 have created a program about the kohima and the gurkha regiment so we have basically made a quiz where it is knowledge to students and the parents so let's get on with the questions the first question is where was the place of origin of the gurkhas the mountains of nepal the deserts of rajasthan or the gangetic plains If you chose Desert of Rajasthan, unfortunately, you are wrong. The answer is the mountains of Nepal. The Gurkhas were a fierce tribe from the mountains regions of Nepal. They were they were originated from there. In the Kohima War, what the the Kohima Regiment helped India fight which country? Italy, German, or Japan? If you chose Italy, you are wrong. But Japan is the correct answer. The correct answer is Japan. The British India fought against Japan in the Battle of Kohima. How many Victoria Crosses did the Gurkhas receive? A Victoria Cross is a award that that a, a soldier gets for his bravery. If you chose three, you're wrong, unfortunately. But the answer is thirteen. The the Gurkha Regiment were awarded thirteen Victoria Crosses. they were which is which is highest amount of awards any regiment has as as received the next question is what is the name of the weapon used by the gurkhas the spear the kukri or the dagger the correct answer is kukri it is it is a sharp well renowned uh, weapon used by the gurkha regiment Which which was the year in which the Battle of Kohima was fought? Nineteen forty four, nineteen eighty four, or nineteen thirty thirty seven? If it was nineteen eighty four, unfortunately you're wrong. It's it's a pretty hard question. It's okay. The correct answer is nineteen forty four. The Battle of Kohima was fought in the year nineteen forty four. Good morning, all. This is the robotics team of Project A. We are all from Class Nine. I am Shraddha Hari Krishna from Class Nine A. I am Pramod from Class Nine A. I am Madhu Ashley from Class Nine B. I am Sandeep from Class Nine B. INS role in the World War. Introduction: The Indian National Army was an armed force. Formed by Indian nationalists and Imperial Japan in 1942 in Southeast Asia during World War II, it was formed to secure Indian independence from the British rule. The army was first formed under Mohan Singh in 1942. This first INA collapsed and was disbanded in December. The uh, INA was handed to Subhash Chandra Bose by Raj Bihari Bose. The Indian National Army. 
the INA was associated with Japan and the other Axis powers of the World War. The INA's members were viewed as Axis collaborators by British soldiers and Indian uh, prisoners of war who did not join the army. The first INA is considered to have comprised about 40,000 troops of whom about 4,000 withdrew when it was disbanded in December 1942. The second INA started with 12,000 troops. Post leadership. The army was declared to be the army of the provisional government of free India. Under post leadership, the INA drew ex-prisoners and thousands of civilian volunteers from the Indian expatriate population in Malaya and Burma. The second INA fought along with the Imperial Japanese Army against the British and the Commonwealth forces. And let us see the relations of the INA. So the, uh, the relation of the INA with the Japanese Army. The Army's relation with the Japanese was an uncomfortable one. Officers in the INA distrusted the Japanese. Leaders of the first INA sought formal assurances from Japan before committing to war. When these did not arrive, Mohan Singh resigned or after ordering his army to disband. He expected to be sentenced to death. Bose refused requests to use INA troops against Aung San's Burma National Army, which had turned against Japan and was now allied with Commonwealth forces. The relation of the INA with the British Indian Army. The first interaction of the INA with the British Indian forces was during the months during the first Arakan Offensive between December 1942 and March 1943. The British Indian Army were reinvigorated and perceived the men of the INA to be savage turncoats and cowards. In some places in the British Indian Army, non-commissioned officers started ignoring orders from British superiors. In Madras and Pune, British garrisons faced revolts from within the ranks of the British Indian Army. The influence of the INA Fay concluded that the INA was not important enough to beat the British Indian Army with military strength. He also writes that INA was not uh, aware of this and formulated his own strategy for avoiding set pieces in battles, gathering local and popular support within India, and instigating revolt within the British Indian Army to overthrow the Raj. However, despite all the small and numerical strength and lack of heavy weapons, its special services group played a significant part in halting the first Arakan offensive while still under Mohan Singh's command. The propaganda threat of the Indian and the lack INA and the lack of concrete intelligence on the unit early after the fall of Singapore made it a threat to the allied war plans, the allied powers in Southeast Asia. Since it threatened to destroy the Sepoy's loyalty to a British Indian army, that was dem demoralized from continuing defeats. During the Commonwealth Burma campaign, the INA troops fought in the battles of Iridwe and Mekardina, supporting the Japanese offensive and tying down Commonwealth troops. This, let's now talk about the battles and operations of the INA. The battles and operations involving the Indian National Army during the World War II were fought in the Southeast Asian theater. These range from the earliest deployments of the INA preceding units in the espionage during Malayalam campaign in 1942 through the more substantial commitments during the Japanese Hago and Yugo offensive in Upper Burma and Manipur region to the defensive battles during the Allied Burma campaign. The INA brother unit in Europe, the Indus Legion, did not see the substantial deployment although were engaged in the Atlantic wall duties special operations in Persia and Afghanistan, and later a small deployment in Italy. End of the INA. Almost 1,500 INA prisoners had been captured in the battles of the Imphal and Kohima and the subsequent withdrawal, while larger numbers surrendered or were captured during the 14th Army Burma campaign. A total number of 16,000 of the INA's 43 recruits were captured of whom all 11,000 were interrogated by the Combined Services Directorate of Investigative Corps, CSDIC. 
the british indian army intended to implement appropriate internal disciplinary action against its soldiers who had joined the ina to preserve discipline in the indian army now pramod and sanjit have made a game related to the world war hi all this is a shooting game made by pramod and sanjit um, in this game there is six sprites uh, in that one will be shooting the other thing now pramod is going to explain how it works now i'm going to explain how to play this game the total six sprites in this one is a shooter and the remaining five are the soldiers all the soldiers will be moving in random directions and we have to shoot the soldiers if we shoot the soldiers the score will increase by 1 Good morning everybody. I am Pradesh of class 10A from the robotics team. Our topic is literature and media inspired by the world wars. The first world war was fought between the years 1914 and 1918 and the second world war was fought between 1939 and 1945. These two wars had a very long lasting impact on mankind and its lifestyle. In this presentation we will focus on the literature and media inspired by the world wars in India. Not much information is known about the war that has happened in 1914 and 1939. In those times books were really hard to print and were rarely printed due to the disruption of services. Most of the literature about the great wars were actually published after the wars. These accounts recollected unheard stories of sympathy, heroism and bravery. Popular titles include Farthest Field and Indian Story of the Second World War, India at War, The Subcontinent and the Second World War, Spy Princess, The Life of Noor in Ayat Khan, Sepoys in Trenches, The Indian Corps on the Western Front, 1914 to 1915. These are some pictures of the books written during World War. Poems written during World War One. Hi Barbary. This poem was written by Howard Staples, a comrade of us, the soldier of 15th Gurkha Rifles in India. In this poem, he tells us about the timelessness of the Middle East plains where they fought battles. The Gift of India. This poem was written by our Nightingale of India, which is Sarojini Naidu. In her poem. She grieves the loss of good soldiers and the price at which victory may come. She also laments the destruction war brings with it and commemorates the fallen soldiers. At the end, she appeals for peace and offers her very high respect to those who took part in the war. Thank you. My friend Keshe will take over from here. The next poem we have was written in World War II by Mateesh, an Indian poet. In his poem, he talks about the battlefield and how it looks under the light of a midday sun. He wonders about the losses and grief at death, war, pain, and also assigns each aspect of battle to a part of nature. He also ponders on the inevitable nature of war and how it must always come and can never be delayed. The next poem titled "The Trumpet" was written by Rabindranath Tagore during World War One. In his poem, he tries to encourage the youth to join the war so that they could get freedom in return. He attracts volunteers by reminiscing about the nostalgic days of battle. When you see the dusty trumpet in a temple, beckoning to him, 
he also talks about the duty to the motherland bharat mata next the media inspired during world war 2 there were two media inspired during world war 2 the first was the hamara hindustan newspaper distributed by british officials weekly written in urdu to the indian soldiers in the british army it delivered news about the latest gains advances and losses of their battles and also showed pictures of wounded comrades children being provided with food and comrades falling under bullet fire to boost their morale the azad hind the radio was founded by subhas chandra bose to attract volunteers for the indian national army to revolt against the british the radio he started came up mainly due to world war 2 tension between germany and britain which netaji used to his advantage he broadcasted weekly bulletins in hindi english and tamil and also spoke about nationalist sentiment and the british struggles they would face by joining the ina over here on the left you can see a partially cropped picture of the hamara hindustan newspaper written in urdu and on the right you can see some prominent british uh, prominent german officials who helped subhas chandra bose set up his azad hind radio along with staren thank you hi good morning my name is anurag and today i am going to show you the app that we made so me keshav and pradosh were part of the robotics team and we made a app on the topic literature and media inspired by the world war so this is the start of starting screen and after 3 seconds it redirects to this page so this is our home page and this has two buttons uh, that is the media button and the literature button the, in the middle we have a picture of saroji naidu who was a very prominent poet and author during the world war time so when we click on the literature button we see uh, all the books and a brief summary of them written and it is there in a scrollable format so a person can scroll we also have a picture of the book so a person can read whatever is there and we have and then uh, they can click the next page so on clicking the next page it Uh, brings them to a poem page so over here they can read the poem the first one is written by saroji naidu and it's called the gift of india the second is high barbary written by howard stables and third is noon written by madhej we also have a uh, play button so if we press the play button then then we'll uh, we will be able to hear the recitation of the poem for example if i click this button no uh it's it's also there for the other other two points and now i'm going to show you the last part of it that is the media part so if we click the back button then we'll come back to the home page again and then if we click the media part it redirects to another page which talks about the media that was present during the world war especially world war 2 so it uh, talks about two things that is hamara hindustan newspaper and the azad hind radio thank you